yeah. it was yeah. exotic. Yeah. They didn't have those growing up. They what? They didn't have those names growing up. They you. did. <laughs> it's Smith and Johnson. Okay, period. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Pop star Sierra, baby. This girl is on in the masters, honey. Did you hear what I say? The master to her breakup debut album, Goodies. Now, they're saying, y'all, that Goodies turned 15, and Sierra now owns the master recordings brand. And she said, quote, it's pretty cool to know that you're out here running around and hustling and bustling, and you're not only performing songs you wrote, but you also own the masters to those songs. She said, I used to dream about that while being signed to a label. I was like, the day what uh, the day that I had to get a chance, I want to own my own masters. I want to be so and do it differently. Y'all don't own y'all. Well, what's the big thing? Well, when you sign to a major record label, you don't own your own masters. They own them. So what's the masters? The song? The masters is like the song, the rights to the song. So anytime I get ready to use Funkify, I don't own the mas- masters to that. So if they want to use it on something and they're making money from it, they the people got to pay Sony, not Brad. They don't pay you? No. Oh, that's not cute. Nope, they don't pay you for that because oh, they wow. own the masters to use it. Now, if it it has something to do with me writing it or my publishing, then I get a percentage of it. But because they own the masters, I will just get a little pinch of it when the record label will recoup it all. Have you ever thought about going on tour talking about that, stuff like that? Because people don't know that. I didn't know. I mean, I thought it was was your song. You sing it as your song. I thought the master was just the main tape. Well, that's something that the record labels don't want you to be telling everybody. You know what I'm saying? And, And there's books out about it. Like, you better learn what you're getting into. Read books. Study it. Learn it before you get into it. Everybody want to get in this game and be famous. It ain't easy as it look, and nah. it ain't all it's cracked up to be. You don't See? get all that money in the front. They yeah. might give you a little up front to make you happy to sit you to the side, but once the back end come, they taking almost all of it if you ain't making no money on shows well, or nothing. I kind of learned that with Tony Braxton. Honey. You know, you so, get- so, so they make their money on shows, performing. No, but performers, we, we mostly make our money on shows, and if you're a writer and you write your own music, then you're going to get a percentage of, of the song when it sells. But other than that, like the record label, they, they give you limos and they give you car mm-hmm. service. They- Hotels, they give you all that. You think, ooh, I'm living lavish. They no, they charging you. They double, yes. triple charging you, and you'll see it on the end when you don't get that million dollars from selling the million records. It don't work like that. Yeah, so when, um, you might get five cents per record. Really, when Tony Braxton <laughs> was on Oprah that time, and she talked about, it, she said, honey, she thought all this was. So free, did Left honey. Eye. If you look up Left yeah. Eye, she talked about all that stuff too. Really? Oh, that's Ricky. Do you own your jokes? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know we got writers now sometimes yeah. we get other comedians man we break them off and they help us put together a set we yeah. just know how to perform and make people laugh right but uh yeah the comedy you ain't dealing with no record company it just whatever you make in that comedy club it comes to you really Ooh, yeah i'm yeah. gonna pay taxes i'm gonna take that little irs out and send it on oh them nothing mm. off the top I, okay. I just send it to them i, I get a little refund now that's yeah. what's- that's yeah, what's up. I send it off the top, and then after you pay commission, they put that little money, and you just take that and you just stack it, and cause a rainy day is coming. Yeah, well, that's why you've been getting those little new jogging suits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there you go, Brad. Yeah, that's why he's been coming with a couple of new jogging uh-huh. suits. Uh, oh, okay. I got no limit jogging suit too. All right, baby. All right, moving on in my sad story, uh-huh. y'all. Anthony Mackie, y'all, honey, he stayed true to his Marvel character when he flew, y'all, under the radar in the divorce court, honey. He split from his beautiful wife, y'all, honey, but leaving things nice and neat, honey, before, honey, anybody can notice. Now, he and his beautiful childhood wife, honey, Miss Sh- Shalita Shafter, y'all, they are y'all donezo, honey. They're saying y'all they look like, honey. Anthony filed divorce back in late 2017, and he finalized things just last year. And I mean, him and his wife looked like they was happy together. So, you know, Anthony Mackey, they played in all these movies. This woman was his childhood sweetheart. Why are people divorcing their childhood sweethearts? I mean, if you were childhood sweetheart, that means you know one another. I would rather be with somebody that I know than to be with somebody that I don't know, y'all. But they say, honey, Anthony showed up to the Avengers Endgame, honey, earlier this year, and he didn't pose, honey, with a significant other on the red carpet. So people was wondering, like, what really was going on. But, honey, he and Shalita are no longer together, y'all. So Every now and then, they be a little thicker in the DM. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> nah, Yeah, that's bad. That yeah, sure you want all, all marriages to work out, but you never know what happened. You know, sometimes, man, your career 
take off and your uh, significant other don't understand it, you busy, you got a schedule, it causes Ooh. a lot of problems. Yes. Uh, it causes insecurity, Ooh. it causes temptation. Reach. And yeah, but y'all cause the, the, the insecurity. I just, I mean, you would cause the insecurity though, because you know how people feel. You uh, you going out there and all these women hollering at you and stuff and well, talking I to mean, you. I mean, the thing about it is, the, the, you know, that's show that, business. That's show business, but, or whatever, but you benefit from it. You got that new bag. <laughs> and, and, and you living good, you eating good, or whatever, you know, sometimes you have to deal with what comes with it. You got to be uh. secure within your relationship, man, or you ain't going to make it. Yeah. Uh. Gary, we you never about, make it. I will never. We didn't talk about this many times before. You, I you, guess you, I won't. You, got, you just can't be, be trifling. You know, you got to still uh, respect your marriage and, right. and yeah. be faithful and try your best to do the right thing. Yeah. Try your best. That's the words I don't like. Yeah, but Gary would be digging and looking for stuff. And if you yeah. seeking, ye shall find, bro. Nah. Yeah, he was up in that, uh, what's that towers, uh, in Rocks here in Dallas when he went through his <laughs> little. i tell you, Reunion. Reunion Tower. Reunion, reunion tower. tower. You went through, and you went through his phone. And what was in that, Gary? A number, honey, for another queen that I didn't know. I'm like, and I know you don't know neither. But, uh, so and, I, just, I had to call that girl. And you called her right then? I, no, the next day and I went to her house. See, that's too much. Wait a minute, Gary. Yeah. What, what happened? No, I just went to her house. I bushed it up and she didn't know who I was. You said, what's up? Yep, exactly. And you went, and you went yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. So, and you went to her house and what happened when, when you knocked well, on the door? She didn't know who I was, so I just was playing like, you know, looking for somebody and this girl. And I just wanted to see what she looked like. Was she cute? Nope, she and I'm not saying that because no, she wasn't cute. But I'm like, some people don't like cute people. You know, somebody could be with somebody. Have and way did you ever ask, and what did he say? When what did you he ask? say when you told him? Who? Th- 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 the queen? That you knew? Yeah, no, that you knew. Oh, that my friend? Yeah, your oh, friend. Oh, um, nothing. Just um, I went to the job too. Went to the bastard job. Oh, <laughs> oh I was really, you, 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 you was a woman scorned. Yeah, I, I was very scorned. <laughs>